This video will help you understand how to best use biocontrol products in soft fruit crops. The biocontrol products in the video use various tiny mites and nematodes that hunt out and eat specific crop pests. The pest control greatly relies on your careful work which has been done weeks earlier. Biocontrol lets the farm use fewer chemicals and achieve improved pest control. It is an interesting process to follow through the season, despite being quite slow to take effect, but eventually produces great results. There is much more detailed product information on the producer websites and from your agronomist. Keep observant, be thoughtful and take notes through the season, then it will be even better next year. Principles of Biological Control Management Biocontrol requires the introduction of a predatory organism into a crop to control pests. Latin names are used in this video, as there are several product names for the same predator in most cases. Biocontrol must follow a number of basic rules to achieve its success. Plan ahead and always receive and apply predators with great care. The timely and careful introduction of predators is essential for good control. Regularly check progress in the crop. It is wise to use traps to provide early warning of certain pest activity. Keep good crop records, sometimes referring to the previous season. Good reception and prompt application. Biocontrol predators are mostly fragile, fresh living organisms. They have been carefully reared by the manufacturer. Care needs to continue when they arrive on the farm. Read the instructions for storage on arrival as they can be different for each product. Predators with a short shelf life are best introduced on the same day as arrival. There may be instructions regarding their latest time of application. Ideally, staff should be made available to introduce the delivery on the same day as arrival. This greatly reduces storage risks and ensures that predators have the most time to search for their prey. Checking on arrival and storage. Unpack and spread out large volumes to improve their ventilation. Choose a dark or shaded holding area to avoid direct sunlight. Check the containers on receipt. There can be rare problems in transit where packaging is damaged or exposed to incorrect temperatures. Use a hand lens to check the contents are alive. Be careful when examining formulations with a carrier. Some predators are extremely quick at hiding themselves from view. Thinly spreading the brown and white paper will help expose them. Each delivery to a farm will come with some form of identification, such as a batch number. Take note of these details and any instructions received. There should also be a use by date on the container. Simple and careful storage may be needed before crop application. Storage temperatures and duration of storage may vary slightly between suppliers. Read the instructions. Poor storage can quickly lead to death of the predators or at very least reduced activity. Such a setback is avoidable and will let pest numbers develop further before the next delivery. Care at application. Care continues into the field. Attention to detail is needed during the process of introduction or application to the crop. The care shown by the application staff is the most important part of successful pest control. Let staff inspect the predators with a lens to see that they are delicate organisms that need help to spread evenly across the crop. Explain that careful application is needed to ensure that the predators are located close to the pests which gives the best results. Consider identifying the rows where each person makes applications. This can improve their interest and ability to compare results. Separate videos contain more detailed information for each predator. Crop recording. Newcomers to biocontrol frequently have difficulty assessing high, medium or low levels of pests. The assessment varies enormously. It is best resolved by making weekly assessments of the crop and recording numbers of both pests and predators to establish a trend. Keep good crop records of pest level, time of bioapplication, numbers of predators used and spray history to improve management over time. 
never introduce a biocontrol agent and assume that the pest problem will be resolved without a further look.